All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I got some interesting still shots and pictures from the Silent Hill 2 remake digital art book that is making the rounds right now on Twitter. And shout out to Bandar Hub over here on Twitter for posting it. He actually took still shots of all the pictures for the most part in the uh, digital art book and he posted it. And these pictures are very telling. And the reason why they're very telling is because if you look at the artwork, the characters were supposedly based off of you start to realize very quickly what the hell happened to these in-game models that they they don't look anything like the artwork that was portrayed in the book don't ask questions just consume product and then get excited for next product I got to tell you, man, the differences are jarring when it comes to this particular game, because when I'm looking at this artwork, I can't sit here and understand how we got to this point, right? I can't understand how the characters look the way they do. Even James looks completely different. This particular James looks totally different from the James that we ended up getting in the actual remake. And wait till you guys see Angela. Oh my God. The Angela in the picture versus the Angela we got. I really want to start questioning the three <laughs> i don't even know what to say let's get into the video guys but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so again guys we got james and obviously the james you know in the game looks nothing and i mean nothing like the james that is drawn here in the digital art book i damn near want to call this a fucking uh, uh just complete bait and switch look at maria Look at Maria. Look, she looks like a female here. But in the game, she's got a modern audience jaw. Look at this here. How did we, like, how did we get here? I don't understand. <laughs> Maria does not look like this in the game. In here, she has curves and whatnot. She's got boobs. She's got, a, she's got a thinner jaw. I don't understand. And then, you know what's even crazier? The close-up makes it even more insulting. Because look at how she looks here. She doesn't look like this in the game. She's got the modern audience face in the game. She looks fucking terrible. What did they, why did they take this and then design a 3D model that doesn't look like that? I mean, look at this. Again, this does, this is not Maria. This is not the Maria that we got in the game. Nothing. Now, wait, okay, you guys ready for this? You guys ready to see Angela? Look, another close up. This is probably closer to the Maria that we got in the game. You can kind of see it from the forefront here. This is a little bit close. This does not look like the Maria up here. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, this is not even close. This is not even close. I guess this is the final iteration, probably. This is the one that the the uh, you know after three iterations of modern audience treatment, the the developers decided to do a 3D model based off of something like that, and it just made it a little bit wider. Now, you guys ready? You guys ready for Angela? Now, this is this is interesting. Okay, so this is the final iteration of Angela that they based it off of, right? Which again, even this doesn't look anywhere close to whatever the fuck the creature is that we got in the actual game, but. Look at her original iteration. Look at her original iteration. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. This looks like an Angela who's traumatized. This right here. This, I, I could buy this, right? I could buy this. This is making her younger, be, or younger looking, I should say, because she was always young, but look, making her look younger looking while also making her look traumatized. Like, this is great. Look at the bags on her eyes. Look at the bags under her eyes, the darkness under her eyes. This right here, this is what we should have gotten. Nobody's asking for a hot Angela. We're just asking for an actual traumatized Angela that looks like she's been through some shit because that's what the entire character is supposed to portray. We didn't get that in the game. The game, unfortunately, gave us an Angela that looked like she just finished filming a TikTok. This right here is so much better why did we not get this why did you not make a model based off of this character there's no fucking way that you can say this is what we got you can even see the changes here right you can see the changes here because they remove the bags from under her eyes and they don't make it as dark right and, and then and then the, the uh, developers ended up making a 3d model off of this and made her even more modern because this particular character has a more feminine jaw but in the game, it is wide as fuck, and her face is fat. So I, how did we get here? 
You know what I mean? Like the game, for me, the game is not woke. I've said that so many times. The game is heavily censored, right? The game is toned down horror. It's not a good Silent Hill 2 remake. If it was his own horror game, it would be an above average horror game. But for, for a Silent Hill 2 remake, it's way too toned down for me. But it's still, it's a fairly enjoyable game. And if you can get it on sale, that's when you should pick it up. Don't pay full price. Get it on sale and you'll get your values worth without a doubt. But this is fucked up because if I'm out here trying to defend the game and not call it woke, but this is the character that you initially had based the design off of how did we get to where we are right the only people that look the same are the people you intentionally had you know every every possible way that you were going to make this character ugly right because it's, it's a straight white male so you're going to make this character ugly eddie eddie's fucking ugly as shit as expected and again even eddie even eddie went from a little bit skinnier drawn eddie to fucking what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> how did you how did you get from this to that bro that's crazy they were like yep he's a straight white male we're gonna fuck him up absolutely bro look at these again just to give you some character designs it is wild to me just to see the absolute difference between all the characters and what we eventually got in the game i don't understand how we got here or why they decided to do this other than for modern audience reasons right and i feel like angela is by far the most insulting one i mean again look at this this tells me everything man she is traumatized she's been through some shit she hasn't been sleeping struggling this sells it to me and it's just in her face her dead face not smiling clearly been through some stuff this sells it for me. Why did you give me the modern audience, Angela? Why? What is the reason for doing that? Even in the way that she looks. And again, she's not like super curvy. I don't care about that. She's not big boobs, no butt. I don't care. She don't have to have that. It's not what it's about. But she looks traumatized. Give that to me. Give that Give that Angela to me. Can we, can we get a DLC for this one? Can you add her into the game somehow, some way? Like, can we make, can we make that happen? Like, seriously, I, I just, we need this Angela in the game because the Angela that we got in the game does a terrible job of selling the story to us. And not only that, the voice actress is, is really bad. I don't know who voiced, you know, modern Angela, but it's really bad. Even this Angela doesn't look terrible, right? Feminine for the most part, but been through some shit. I just wish they would add a little bit more dark undertones under the eyes to really showcase that she hasn't been sleeping very well. But overall, this right here, the dead eyes, the dead face, no smile. This is it. This is it. But this is not what we got. We didn't get this. Same thing with Maria, right? Like looking at Maria, we went from this to somehow this. This is very jarring. I don't know how we got here. I feel like this portrait doesn't really do Maria justice. But if you look at here... This looks a lot more like a sexualized Maria, which for her character, she's supposed to be, right? She's supposed to be sexualized. It's supposed to represent a part of James, right? Without spoiling, spoiling the story, it's supposed to represent a part of James. Maria represents that misogynist part of James, right? That, that's, that sexualization of women. That is the entire reason for her existence and the way that she looks, the way that she does. She's supposed to be a sexualized version of James' wife. So why did you tone that down? Why did you why did you tone on the sexuality of her? The one character that you're supposed to do it with, you didn't do it with, right? So again, guys, uh shout out to to Banderhub. These pictures are amazing. Go check out his Twitter profile. He's uh he's posting all this on his page and uh it, it's really even James, bro. James looks totally different from the James we got in the game. He's got a more angular jaw here in this and in in the game, he's just like kind of soy boy chin i don't really know how to explain it just very soft kind of long drag chin it's so weird what they did with the 3d models so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. if you get to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out